with all the current offerings of cell phones and I guess they can't be called cell phones anymore they're called smartphones but with all the current smartphones on the market is the LG G4 coming in at the right time and do you think it's worth it well in this video I'm going to tell you why I think it's definitely worth it so stay tuned So, the LG G4 definitely, in my opinion, is totally worth the $599 price tag when you compare it next to devices like the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the BlackBerry Passport and the iPhone 6 Plus. The prices get really high, but with that, you actually get some great features and great performance in most cases. So my experience with the LG G4 has been great. I haven't had any problems with the LG G4 at all. I actually really enjoy LG's overlay. I think it's really fast, really fluent, and it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the device. I couldn't find much bulk, uh, bloatware on here, actually just a few LG things, but you can actually disable or remove a lot of them. But some of these things I actually like, like the quick memo, the notes, all of that, the LG backup, uh, those things actually work for me. I actually like them. Um, I'm not really um, against skins, but I think if you have a skin on your device, you got to make it, uh, you have to have it a light skin. In Samsung's case, they're doing a fantastic job by dropping their skin down and so it's not pulling so many resources. But for the LG G4, there's a lot to be offered here. First, you actually get a quad HD display that comes in at 5.5 inches with 538 pixels per inch. Now, that's the techie side in real world tests and real world use. You get a beautiful display. There is no getting around it. This is a great display and it's just that good in person. I was kind of iffy about the G4 because when I bought the G3, I wasn't as impressed and the screen was, uh, it was good. But uh, you start to put it up against some other flagships and you think, ah, they got to come better than this. Now, the design of the G4, I think it's really nice. It has this slight, also slight curve. You can barely even see it's there. But when you put it face down, you definitely know that it's got a curve. I think the build quality on this device is great. It falls right into your hand and you will not be disappointed. Even if you put a case on it, it still feels good. It feels really good. I have ultra thin cases. I have Thor cases. I have bulky cases. It still just cuffs and just grabs hold of the body of this device and it keeps the form factor, which makes it really good. They have an IR blaster, which is, I actually started to use this. I never used to use the IR blasters on my devices um, that often, but I'm actually using it. So the IR blaster up top and the microphone on the bottom, and then you've got your charging sink and microphone and headphone on the bottom here. Excuse me. Uh, Iron bus on the top, microphone on the top, and um, charging sink, and headphone and mic on the bottom. And you know how I feel about bottom placement. I think it's great to have the headphone jack at the bottom. I'm really glad that they're doing that. Uh, the speaker on the back of this isn't the loudest, uh, so it won't give you the top-notch sound like front-firing speakers will, but it will give you some good sound. Uh, it's even though it's on the back, it has a curve, so it sits off of the table or whatever you have it sitting on, so it'll bounce and reflect and give some good sound. Won't be fantastic, but it'll still give some and you won't be disappointed, I'll say that. Now, the build quality is fantastic. The screen is fantastic. What am I not talking about that's one of the highest points of this phone is the camera. The camera on the LG G4 is by far the best camera I've seen in my catalog and I'm talking about having it next to my Nokia 830 which I think is a great camera the Nokia 830 has a phenomenal camera also the 1520 had a great camera too I got rid of the 1520 quickly because it was just way too overwhelming it was way too bulky too heavy and I bought a whole bunch of accessories for it to try to make it feel good but it just didn't so I, I, I got rid of that but I've got something great coming for Windows Phone people so stay tuned but nonetheless this camera is one of the best cameras I've used in a long time. Now I'm using the unlocked version, uh, but still, you get into your, your carrier version, you should still see uh, a fantastic camera because it's gonna be the same. Uh, 4K shooting on here is really nice. Full uh, HD shooting is great. They've got HD, they've got slow motion. 
everything is good. You can shoot 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 or even 1 by 1, which I think is just great. Picture quality on this camera comes out phenomenal. No complaints from me. It has a really fast shutter time, which is what I enjoy. I don't, don't, don't think that I've had any problems with this camera. I mean, you can snap a picture in a second and boom, it just looks great. Look at that. That is a fantastic camera. So, uh, for those of you who want a nice camera uh, on your cell phone, the LG G4 is one that will definitely do you right. I haven't had any problems with the G4 at all. I took different pictures. You can just see the clarity and the detail in the photos. I mean, it is really nice. Look at the text on there. That is a good camera. So, the camera is where um, LG is put all of their focus, and you know what? They should have, because some of their other devices were, uh, you know, the G2, to me, if you have a G2 still, you have a killer device. That screen is beautiful. The cameras are phenomenal. In my experiences, they were. But the G4, they've definitely outdone themselves. The G4 is rocking a Hexacore 808 Snapdragon. And so, in technical terms, it's the dual core 1.82 and then the quad core 1.44 A53. But in real world, you're just going to have a speedy device. I haven't had any crashes with this thing. Nothing, no problems uh, with the RAM overloading. It's been, it's just been phenomenal. I really like it. No problems. One thing I didn't touch on that much was the front-facing camera, going backwards a little bit. This is an 8-megapixel camera, and it is great. Your video chat or selfies, if that's what you're into, is going to come out great. And it also shoots 1080p at 30 frames per second. Some rear cameras are not even doing that on cell phones. A pet peeve that I have about cell phones is dual-band Wi-Fi, and this definitely has it. It definitely hooks up to my 5 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi, and it, no problems with it. This is, um, wireless charging is optional on the G4. So I haven't tested this with my wireless charger, but I think I will. I have the unlocked version. If someone could tell me which version has the Qi built into it. So <laughs> this is the unlocked version. So I'll go downstairs and check it out uh, in, another, in another time. But wireless charging is optional, it says, for the G4. So I haven't come across any models that actually have the wireless charging built in. But I actually also have never tested mine. This is the unlocked one, so I'll go downstairs and test it. Okay, one important thing about the G4 that's important to a lot of people is a removable battery. And this one actually has it and also has an SD card slot as well. These are very important to people. And it's very important to me in some cases. I don't have to have a removable battery as long as the removable battery is big enough. So if this was a 3,000 milliamp battery or anything over 2,900, I, I could be okay with it. But, you know, it's a plus. It, it has a removable battery. So um, that is going to be really nice. If I need to replace a battery or replace an SD card, uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. So, And I have the option to, to do so. That's the most important thing. Uh, but overall, though, um, I haven't had any problems with call quality. The unlocked version says 4G on the top. But it actually has the 1700 uh, band on here uh, for for 4G LTE, and I do get LTE. I picked up well into the 50s, I think, um, when I was out and away from my house. I got into the 50s, and that is really fast. Uh, you don't really need all of that, but um, it's there. So um, even though it says 4G up there, I do pick up LTE speeds. And if I go into the settings, it'll say that I'm connected to T-Mobile LTE. So overall, um, would I recommend this device and is it worth it? Uh, yeah. Right now, T-Mobile offers it for $5.99. I, mean, I have an AT&T account, but I'm not sure what their offerings are. I think theirs is like $1.99 on contract or something like that, but I don't, I'm not really sure of their full cost. But it's $5.99 through T-Mobile, and you can even choose the leather back if you want to, which I, oh, I wish I had gotten the leather back. But nonetheless, the brown leather back is exclusive through T-Mobile, and AT&T has the black leather back. And then they have the gray version. So there are other versions, I think gold, white. Uh, but this gray version is uh, really nice. I enjoy it. I have tons of different cases right now. I've been rocking my Thor and my Ultra Thin. Uh, but uh, I can't really say that there's any bad downsides to this device. Um, I'm really impressed uh, with 
with LG's offering with this. This is pretty amazing that they came back so strong and they brought us a full, well-rounded device. This is also a very small device too. For it to be a 5.5 inch display, uh, it is pretty small to say the least. The size of it is really nice. Fits good in any hand, any pocket, anything. I think you'll enjoy it. So that's my take on the, uh, the LG G4. This is well worth it. I think you guys should go out and grab one right now. Flagship devices and budget devices are in a battle right now because you got phones like the Idol 3 and you got the Zenfone 2 who are basically taking shots at phones like this. And since they pack 1080p displays, it can handle a little bit more battery life or it can handle certain things. But battery life on this thing is phenomenal. The screen is beautiful. I don't have any complaints about this device. Uh, if I just had to think of something, I, I don't know what it would be. Longer battery life? I, I don't know. I'm doing pretty good with this, man. Oh, I guess I can think. I know one thing that I this, and this isn't this isn't just making this up just to say something's bad about the device, but the keyboard. But this is something that you can actually change. Now their keyboard is adjustable, and you can do it in different colors. And um, you can you can let me see if I can get to it right now. Let's see here. I'll go into the settings, and I'll show you the keyboard. Now the keyboard. Um, it's not the, I'm not very fast and I'm not very accurate on this keyboard for some reason or another. I just don't type well on it. I, I don't know why. Um, but uh, you can change the theme here of the, the keyboard. You can download more themes. And I tried to get into the theme store, but since this is the unlocked version, it recognizes my account, but it won't let me download any. So thus I had to create, um, I had to go in and download different keyboards which i you know don't want to do i like the keyboard on the lg um their, their stock keyboard but it's i'm just not as accurate on it for some reason or another i'm not as accurate and i have more errors on this keyboard i i don't know why and also the swipe feature it doesn't exist with the lg keyboard and if it does someone please tell me how to turn it on uh, nonetheless, uh, if I had to have some kind of downfall on the phone, that's all it would be. I recommend this phone over a lot of phones. And I think you uh, should check it out if you haven't. Hit your local T-Mobile store, your AT&T store. I don't know about Verizon and I don't know about Sprint. Uh, but uh, hit the store, man. Check it out. And uh, I think you'll be happy to know that the LG G4 is a huge improvement over the um, G3. It really is. And, and where it shines the most is, is right here the camera. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's the LG G4, baby. I think this thing is a beast. I love it. Take care. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. It's your man, Jay Will. I really appreciate you watching that video. Be sure to rate, subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video so I can continue to bring you great content, lots of different products, and everything that you might enjoy in technology. So, deuces. Peace. I leave it out you. Ciao. Bella. Sorry, Nara. I don't, I don't know how to say it in any other African or Chinese or anything. All right, holla.